Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name is Craig, it's 6 o'clock on a Monday, which means it's time for a Magic Review. Just kidding. What's up everybody? Welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith, and in today's video we're going to be donning our lovely checkered shirts and pulling out mind blocks from Craig Petty for a Magic Review. I believe this trick is up for pre-sale on Penguin now, and it's due to be released on March the 1st, 2024. But I got this from Craig at Black Builder Sphere, so thanks again Craig for it. It's much appreciated. Been using this for about a week now and love it so much. It's fantastic for both kids and adults alike to perform for. So let's dive straight into the video and talk about mind blocks. So you might be asking, what is mind blocks? Well, here's a brief rundown taken from the penguin description of the trick. So this has created a sort of a, a challenge card type type of cards and gives a bit of a top trumps feel as well. On the cards is a section to show the Lego set, a description of the set and how many blocks is in the set, along with the difficulty rating. But of course, from a magician's point of view, there's so much more built into the deck that meets the eye. One of the main tricks which has been pushed for this is that you put one card away, put it in an envelope as a prediction, then you get a spectator to select a card, and from that selected card you can reveal a bunch of information, such as a thought of word, total number of bricks in the set, and so much more. You can then get the spectator to select another card, or use the one previously selected if you thought ahead, and blow their minds using the envelope and the prediction as it'll match exactly, even though it was sat there right from the beginning. The cards in the deck itself are fully marked and hide in plain sight, and once you know that the markings are there, they'll bounce out at you as soon as you look at it on the back of the card. This was a course designed by Phil Smith, who previously worked on the DMC decks, their cards and their marking systems. They're bright and colourful, and thanks to the box itself, it doesn't look like any sort of magic cards, but more like kids' trivia or challenge cards that you can pick up at any shop. So how much does it cost? At the moment, it's on sale on Penguin for $40, which is about £31.50 for a UK equivalent. Uh, but when it's released in the UK magic shops, I'm not sure how much it'll be based on the cost of those, I assume about the same. Um, which seems to be a pretty standard Craig Pretty and Penguin price because Chop, Quantum Deck and Lucky Lotto are all $40 on the Penguin website. So let's kick things off with a quick performance of the trick and one of the routines that can be done with it. There's loads of routines in the tutorial which we'll get to after this, but until then, enjoy this quick performance. This is not in the tutorial, this is something that I've thought up using the deck, so enjoy it. So we're going to try a trick. These are the 52 challenge cards and they feature Lego sets on the front. So as you can see, they're all different, they all have different Lego sets. So if you have a look at them. And the Lego builders use these, so it's got like how many bricks there is, the difficulty and a description of the Lego set. So I want you to take them and give them a shuffle up. My shuffling's not great, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall on you. It's a little bit. Any shuffling's Any okay. shuffling's shuffling. Shuffling, any time we're shuffling. And then when you finish shuffling, I just want you to put them on the table. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So I want you to take off however many cards you want and split it into another pile. So we've got two piles, different cards in each one. Yeah. yeah? Okay, yeah. So I want you to select one of those piles Take the top card from it and look at it, but don't show me. Okay. Okay. So what, left or right? Anyone you want. Top Your card? Choice. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, I've got it. Yeah. Yes. Take the other cards, put them together and move them out of the way. Okay. And then your card, I want you to put face down on the table. Face down on the table. Yeah, yeah there we go. So I can't see it. Yeah. Okay. Now I've got all these blank bits of card and I'm going to make a prediction. Okay. So I want you to picture your Lego set. And just project it in your mind okay. so I can try and read it. Okay. Um, it, just the Lego set. Yeah. So you have got the Lego box. All right. Okay. You to sort of All the bits. Open the Lego box. Put the <laughs> yeah. No problem. Out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And are you building that now? Yes. I can see you starting at the bottom and yeah. putting them together. It's like it looks a bit like a, a rectangle or a square. Base at the bottom, I think. Uh -huh. So maybe something like that. How far are you through your build? About halfway up. <coughs> There's some challenging bits on this one. It's like a, a chimney or something. I can see. Y yes. Yeah. Yeah, me done. You done? Yeah. Okay. I think I've got it. Okay. So, what was it that you picked when you were building in your head? Can't the house. Ghost house. 
I see you building the house and the chimney and the gorse and everything. Everything on there. There's the chimney. <laughs> Has it got a ghost on there as well? Or have I just put that on? I think you've just put it on. There probably is <laughs> something there, but yeah. Definitely ghost house. Ghost house. So what do you get with it? You get this lovely presentation box and inside of there you'll get a uh, card box which has all of the cards inside there. The box of cards has a few gaff cards to be used in routines and one of the main gaff cards can be seen in the live performances as a big reveal. You do get 52 cards set up in a Spengali style deck but you can be used however you want. You can use it as the full 52 cards or you can use it as a 26 card like I've been using. It all depends on your style, routines and whatever tricks you want to perform. So the deck has the 26 cards that are fantastic use for a prediction method as stated in the Spengali option and can be used in a bunch of other routines. The other 26 can be used for a large number of other routines as well. All of the cards have a number of different markings which include basics like what the Lego set is, has a mother of all book test marking and there's also be used in a specific stack if you wanted to as well. There's also markings for the amount of bricks on the Lego set and the difficulty of that particular Lego set as well. On the front of the cards you get a large image showing which Lego set the, the card is and underneath there's some text which shows the description of that particular set as well. At the top of the card there's a section which states how many blocks is in each set and the difficulty for each set as well. The blocks can also be used as a force number two which Craig goes into the tutorial discussing about it. The tutorial for the deck is quite short for a Craig Petty release if I'm honest. Just kidding. It runs for around 2 hours and 22 minutes in total and there's a bunch of live performances that Craig performs for the camera, discussions on what you get with the trick and the 10 routines. After playing with the deck for a while I'm sure you can come up with your own routines and uses for the deck too, with there being that many things built into it, the tutorial is well shot and sounds great too. The question is, is it easy to perform? The answer is, of course yes. Once you know where the markings is and how to read them, then you'll not be able to unsee them which makes the deck a, a super easy deck to work with. After that you can follow Craig's performances and routines and copy those and you're good to go. Or you could just delve into the deck and have a mess around and come up with some stuff and routines for yourself such as the drawn version that I did in the live performance uh, where the spectator can freely choose a card after shuffling. You can divide them into different packets so that you can force a card as well if you want or they can do whatever you want. Then you can just draw the card which they stopped on and of course some might be a bit difficult to draw but you could always change this up and actually use the force card of the ambulance or whatever you want to force on the spectator to have an easy drawn but the sky's limit on what you can do. With the drawn version of the performance that I did I found it easier to write what it was underneath and then potentially try and draw it like uh, the palace for example. I just put palace and then drew like a, a square with a, a lid on and some money around and then when you show it you can say look it says palace that's my version of a palace. So that's one easy way to get around it if you're not very good at drawing like myself then you can just do a written prediction and drawing at the same time so it makes it even better. Also with that you could put the uh, the mother of all book tests word wrote down or maybe it's the difficulty of the particular Lego set or the how many blocks is in so you can have a multiple reveal on that particular drawn one rather than just the drawing itself. Can the deck be inspected? Of course it can. Unless you know where the markings are then you'll not know about them and when performing you're not going to draw attention to the backs so people aren't going to know or assume that it's a marked deck. As when it comes to the general public they don't know that some decks can be marked especially something like these uh, challenge cards which just looks like normal Lego challenge cards and it doesn't look like something a magician would use. And all the times when I perform with these people have had a look at the cards, asked to look at the cards, they've looked through and they can see nothing at all so you're safe in that fact. Before we go any further if you're not subscribed to the channel I would love if you could click the subscribe button as it would really help the channel out. And of course if you've enjoyed the review then please drop a comment as it helps the uh, the YouTube algorithm pick up the video and get it out there to other people and in the future I'm going to be shooting more reviews too. So comments about things which were good in the review, bad or I should change would really help me to create the content which is what people want to see. Now let's dive back into the review. So is it well made? I'd say that it is. So the box itself is made of thick cardboard and seems a bit thicker than a regular deck of cards which seems to be a bonus for durability as it should last longer than your standard deck of cards. That's the box that I mean. The cards are printed on good quality cardstock too. I'm not sure if it's USPCC cardstock like Evoke is as they do seem to spread well, shuffle well, can do some decent pharaoh shuffles and things like that too. 
and they seem to be decent quality so they should hold up over time when using them. What are the positives? As this is a mark deck you can use this for so many different things and as they're not playing cards it's nice to have something different in your magic collection to perform for people who either don't like card tricks or even for children who don't understand playing cards because believe it or not this is actually the case. When I've been doing things at weddings and doing magic tricks for children a lot of them don't know what playing cards are and sort of king of hearts, all the clubs, the spades, the diamonds, they don't understand what those pips are. So having something like this is like amazing to use for it. Because Lego is a pretty global toy that most people know about and if not should all know about it. And there's a universal thing about the deck that people should understand. And as stated too, there's 10 routines on the tutorial such as predictions, one ahead principles and so much more. But as there's a number of different things built into the deck, you can use the deck for whatever your mind can come up with. So say you have a particular routine that you're really proud of and you, you like doing, you can navigate the options from the playing cards to the these deck of cards. I know the video that uh, Craig put up the other day, it was on about the <laughs> any Lego deck at any number, so you can do that in. I'm sure there's so many other different card tricks that you could do using these cards, either as the 26 or the 52 to do basic card tricks and card tricks that you already know but just using these cards which, which should be completely different to what it normally looks like with a deck of playing cards. Now let's talk about the negatives. Firstly, tutorial, two hours long rather than seven hours from Craig. Rubbish. Just kidding. For me, the only negative that I have is the marking system but I'm not sure if it's just me or a general thing. But I find when the cards are quite close to me, it's hard to see the markings. So when they're further away, they're more obvious to me. I'm not sure if it's down to my specific eyesight or the fact that the markings being hidden in plain view due to the nature, you need to have them further away to read them. But I suppose having the cards further away from yourself from a spectator's point of view makes it even less likely that it's going to be any markings and you're reading the cards because you wouldn't be able to see them if they suspected such a thing with it being the distance between you and the cards. So while that negative isn't really a negative overall as it's easy to get around it, I felt the need to mention it as some of the people who were struggling to read the markings may have that as an issue to resolve it. So if you can't read it, just move the cards further away and you should be able to see the markings super easy. That is Mind Blocks from Craig Petty and by the time this video is released online, I think people's purchases from Penguin should be being shipped out or should be shipped out in the next couple of days. And of course those who bought the trick at Blackpool would already know about this and have hopefully watched a tutorial and start performing this in the real world because it does really get fantastic reactions from people. I did also pick up Evoke and Q52 at Blackpool too, so I'll be getting some reviews shot for those sometime soon. I've already got some prior knowledge of Q52 as I shot the tutorials with Craig uh, when he filmed the project and filmed some of the live performances too. So I've seen this used in the real world and I know that it just absolutely kills people. So I can't wait to perform some stuff with the deck and shoot a review of course. Evoke is a great new release and hearing people talk about and seeing Matt perform it in real life, it's going to be a trick which is going to be amazing in the real world I think as it's a very emotive trick when performed in that way and it makes some fantastic mentalism effects. So again, when I'm photographing video weddings, when I get some downtime, it'd be nice to bring out the, uh, the Mind Block deck and also the Evoke and just sort of have a mess around with it, see what things I can come up with, see reactions, see what works, see what doesn't work and it's just fantastic. Again, thanks to those who have watched the video until the end of the video, it's much appreciated. Thanks to everyone for the support on the channel. Until next time, see ya.